It's extraordinary the spirit he has. You have to say that, right? The character he's shown all season. Yeah, you do admire him. But like, he seems really upbeat there, saying it's a big win. But again, you're not gauged at Man United when you beat Newcastle at home. It's about competing in the big games. And again, you're not going to win every week or win, win championships every year. But you hope that you're up there competing. And Man United have been nowhere near it. But he is trying to be positive. And I like that he's talking about the young players. But you've got to get the mix right. The experienced players haven't done enough. There's been too, too many injuries. And I do appreciate where he's coming from. Defensively, the injuries have been, yeah, has been huge. It's been a huge setback. But overall, you still put all, you still digest all that. But still, you look at it, the record, the amount of games they've lost, the goals they've conceded, the lack of goals they've scored, um, the position in the league, the minus, was it minus three goals or minus two or three goals. All these things are not good to look at. But you hope he's given out a chance in the, in the summer. And what they need to do is, again, we go back to it, that recruitment. They have to go out and buy some... We were talking here, maybe four or five world-class players, a couple of centre-halves, a couple of strikers, someone in midfield. You know, it's, it's a long way back but for this But before club. we come to the shopping list, it seems every day... Let's have a look then at the current squad and talk about which players of this group are there to be relied upon. I mean, he, he started the list for us with the, the young players he mentioned. You, you can see on Asterix those who are out of contract. But that helps, doesn't it? It helps a few, there's a few players that are out of contract. Yeah. Who are you building around, Wayne? You have to build it around Bruno. I think you have to build the team around Bruno. He's the one player with, with quality. He, he has got fight in him. I think the young players and then I think all the other players get rid of him. Sorry? I think you keep the young players, you keep Bruno, and I think it has to be a massive clear-out. It has to be. Right. Uh, it's not going to be in one, one year, but I think it's going to be over the next couple of well, years. Well, let's just go through it block by block then. So, are you keeping the goalkeeper, Anana? Good enough for United? I think he's got better. I think he had a, a shaky start to the season, but I think he has got better. Defenders, um, Lissandra Martinez, Luke Shaw, Harry Maguire? No, for me, Dallow's done well. Um, Harry Maguire's had the in and out season. Um, but uh, to compete, they need, they need better. They need better players um, to compete at this league. Um, and don't get me wrong, these players are good players and good you know, Premier League players. But to compete with Man City, with Liverpool, with Arsenal, they need better players. What about in the forwards, Marcus Rashford? Well, we all know Marcus has got the, the ability, the capabilities to, to play at the top level. And we haven't seen it. I just wondered, is it time for Marcus for himself to go and play elsewhere? I don't know. I think he has to ask himself that question. And I, I want him to stay. I want him to, you know, break records at this club. Um, but he needs to get his head right and, and get his head down, work hard and, and get back to the play we know he can be. Right. Does anyone disagree with what Wayne said there? Keep the young players, keep Bruno and pretty I much mean, clear Manchester the decks United everybody else. Has always being built around the young players, you know, coming through the academy. And if they continue to do what they're doing, they should be playing. It's as simple as that. You know, uh, transition, we've been in transition for a very, very long time. You know, and at some stage we're going to have to stop using that word transition because we can't be transitioning for 10 years. You know, yeah, but so... he finished third last year. Yeah. And there you the, go. In, the eighth in the league, so the transition's going backwards. Yeah. <clears throat> And we talk about moving players on, but it'll be very hard to move a lot of them players on. It's okay, obviously, lads who wrote a contract, but there's players here on huge money, mm. and some of them won't be going anywhere. They won't be budging unless they get proper, obviously, um, paid off. So that's, we talk about recruitment, but get, getting rid of players. And a lot of the players have been given a lot of opportunities. And there's also worried that these players are constantly injured. If, if you're constantly injured, you're no good to anybody. OK, you can, listen, every club will have its few injuries, but there's certain players in that group there, you're going, they're always injured. You can't rely on these players to, to, to turn up week in, week out and play for Man United. It's like Martial, for instance, I, I play with him, he's a really nice guy, and well, where's he been? I can't remember the last time I've seen him play. Mm. Like, what's up with him? I, I, uh, what's, well, what's at least, injured, at least his contract's up, isn't it? So, <laughs> no, no, it is. At least that's a, that's a plus. You go, listen, off you go. But, uh, again, it, it won't be easy. And it's, it's, it's well and good us sitting around here going, he needs to go out again. But it's, the reality is it's going to be really, really tough. Patrick asked the question, didn't he, to, to Eric Ten Hag about uh, if you're here, 
Does that have to be a question right now? Is that a doubt, Wayne? Uh, I think, of course, that's a question for the, the owners who are at the club now. And um, will, the, will the question in their mind be, can somebody else get more out of this group of players? Yeah, I'm or, sure or it will. And, and they'll be looking transition quicker. Oh, but they'll be looking how the how they're going to build, how they're going to rebuild ultimately the mess the club's in at the minute. Um, on the pitch, off the pitch, and who's the right man to, to move the club forward? Is that Eric Ten Hag? Um, or is it someone else coming in? And I, I do feel sorry for the manager at the minute because as, as we've seen the, the problems he's got. Um, but I'm sure these new owners are doing all the homework to, to see if there's anyone else yeah, yeah. to come in or whether they keep Eric. Yeah, they, for, for me, Percy, the, the gap won't be closed in the next couple of years. You know, and it's, it's that simple. You've got, you've got to be very honest. If, if you look at the gap between Manchester United now and Manchester City, that tells you everything. You've got to close that gap. So there's no way you're going to close that gap within two years. And then Manchester City, they're going to come close to Manchester United because they're going to look to kick on again next season. You know, so that's going to take time. I mean, that's, that's a building process. That could be four or five years. Well, you look at Man City when their new owners come in. Yep. It took them 15 years to win the Champions League. Yeah. Well, so that's go. potentially what she might be looking at. You hope not, but... Could happen a lot quicker. Get Wayne Rooney as so. director of football. <laughs> <laughs> Swing the axe.